Welcome to Top Solid 7 and your first look at some of the new improvements for Top Solid Mold for 2016. In this video we're going to talk about ejector pins and I thought I would create a ridiculous example. Uh, sometimes dealing with ejector pins can be a challenge. Now as many of you know Top Solid automatically handles the placement of the ejector pins for you and all of the processes included for them and this includes all of the drillings that go through all the plates putting the correct live travel in and whatnot. As you can see I have a few ejector pins here and what I've done is create this part where I have to have a pin at the bottom of each of these little ribs and this is like I said a silly sample but here's what I want to talk about. Sometimes you have to put a lot of ejector pins in a tight area and what happens? All of those heads collide with each other. And then what do you have? Well, you have a lot of pins that you have to deal with. So we thought it would be really cool if we simplified this for you. And here we have a new ejector pin trimming. Now, this function is pretty cool because what it actually does is all the work for you so that you don't have to. What do I mean? Well, if I select this pin and this pin, you see it finds where they intersect and it trims both pins to that common plane. What happens if I add this pin and this pin? Pretty awesome. What if I did this? Let's delete everything and let's just zoom out and let's window select them. Give it a sec and voila. Check it out. We have now keyed all of those pins together. Let's click OK and see what happens. So now here Top Solid is going to do all the lifting for you and now we've trimmed every single one of those pins to each other. Now other solutions you'd be trimming manually one by one or drawing complex sketches or creating planes or whatever and maybe you've trimmed one or two pins by the time I've trimmed all of these pins together. Now finally you can even simplify the pocket for the pins. Now here I just have a few examples. I have either an oblong or a circular pocket. I can set this to automatic mode and it'll try its best to put a common pocket in there. And this is kind of a strange grouping of pins, so a common circle doesn't make sense. Maybe an oblong. And the oblong is going to try to calculate the best angle to go. Maybe you can play with the angle down here, as you can see. Or you can create your own user sketch and create a simplified pocket here. Whatever you want to do. Or skip that part. That's up to you. Let's take one final look at this. I'm going to go to my parts manager, and I'm going to turn off all these ejector pins just so you can see. There you go. There's all the processes in place, which is beautiful. If I turn all of those on, and maybe I turn my pin plate off, you can see all of those pins trimmed together. Maybe I want to expand that as well, and let's turn off, I don't know, a handful of these pins. Let's just set them to be invisible. So you can see, nicely keyed together. And again, done automatically for you, because you know what? That's part of mold design, and that's what Top Solid Mold does. Thanks for watching.